quiet dawn, no dramatic electricity in the air announces the incredible event that will occur here in less than 24 hours. An event that will rank in history with the invention of the wheel and the use of fire. These men in silhouette are scientists, the best technical minds on Earth. The one in the strange hat is Robert Oppenheimer. They are gathered around a rather unimpressive looking sphere of dull metal, taped together here and there. A sphere that will change the world forever. It is history, the first atomic bomb. These are the last few recorded moments before humanity entered into the nuclear age. Even at this moment, these brilliant men did not fully grasp the potential power of the device that they had created. The next morning, this power was turned to vapor. On July 16, 1945, as planet Earth moved smoothly through the vacuum of space, mankind broke apart the nucleus of the atom and let its awesome energy burst into the still desert air. Floods of heat and light ripped the desolate silence. Sands beneath the glass were fused to a greenish glass. Nuclear fission tore at the sky and built a ragged column to fill the hole it had made. This is Trinity, first nuclear detonation, violent dawn of the nuclear age. The scientists came from many lands. Fermi. Rabi, Bohr, many others. Under the leadership of Robert Oppenheimer, these men shared their knowledge and achieved the incredible. In a world torn by war, they had been brought together on a quiet mountainside in New Mexico. The little settlement was known to its residents as the Hill. The world knew it as Los Alamos. At Los Alamos, the search to understand the energy available from the atom continued. Once again, a vast flood of power lighted the sky, this time set free by thermonuclear fusion, the same reaction that feeds the furnace of the sun and rages within the star. Today, on that same mountainside in New Mexico, the tradition of scientific dedication goes on. Los Alamos scientists have long sought to harness the awesome energy of the hydrogen bomb for mankind's use. That effort continues today, with greater hope of success than ever before. In order to function, thermonuclear fusion requires a temperature that will destroy any substance used to contain it. Many possible solutions to this problem are under examination at Los Alamos. In several, magnetic fields are employed to hold ionized gases known as plasmas. Huge machines have been built and tested to generate the electromagnetic field. Others are planned to hold the heat of a star in a magnetic bottle. Another approach uses high-powered carbon dioxide lasers developed at Los Alamos to implode microscopic fuel targets. These tiny hot stars will be held by their own mass long enough to extract the thermonuclear energy. Production of usable energy is a problem which will continue to plague mankind. Solutions to demanding energy needs cannot be sought in a single technology. In June of 1977, Los Alamos geologists recovered usable energy from hot, dry rock within the Earth. Water injected into one well by the scientists passed through the hot, dry rock of the Earth's crust and returned as steam through another well. This method may be used to generate electricity almost anywhere in the world. This is a model of Mauna Loa, one of the most active volcanoes in the world. This very film is part of a study at Los Alamos to predict the path of lava flow during the next eruption. The objective is to protect the people who live in the city of Hilo. 
structures will be built to intercept the lava flow. Other lasso volcanologists have been studying volcanoes around the world, and even on far off Mars as well. By 1975, Los Alamos engineers had developed a new technology for drilling. The apparatus, known as the subterrene, is able to melt solid rock and create a glass lining as it travels. While Los Alamos geologists and engineers work to extract heat from the earth, other lasso scientists are developing methods to keep electrical transmission lines chilled to almost absolute zero. Experiments have shown that such cryogenic lines will save enormous amounts of energy, and they can be buried underground, out of sight. This same cryogenic technology will make it possible to store electricity in huge chilled magnets for use during periods of peak power usage. Metropolitan blackouts may soon fade into history as a result of Los Alamos engineering development. Solar energy has been given special attention at Los Alamos. Several designs for modular solar energized buildings have been constructed and tested. With the cost of both home construction and energy on the rise, such structures are of extreme importance today and will become even more important in the near future. At the Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory, techniques are being developed to extract oil from shale without disturbing the environment and to extract fuel gas from coal deposits. In another program, the small Omega West reactor at Los Alamos is used to irradiate water and sediment samples as part of the nationwide attempt to locate new uranium deposits. Minute traces of the precious mineral, detectable through this 20th century prospecting technique, will identify new sources of raw reactor fuel and reactor fuels themselves are under examination. Los Alamos scientists have developed laser techniques to enrich reactor fuel in the fissionable isotope uranium-235. Laser isotope separation is a very important new technology with many other applications, some of them involving national defense. The level of scientific and technological accomplishment at Los Alamos is second to none in the entire world. Such complex work requires high-level research support in every respect, instruments, fabrication facilities for metal, plastic, glass. For electronic components, the list is virtually endless. And most important in this support are the people, machinists, glass blowers, lathe operators, all the best in their field, all at the Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory, all sharing in an incredible array of research projects at the forefront of scientific achievement. Perhaps the most complex and fascinating tool ever conceived by mankind, the computer. One of the largest and strongest computing facilities on Earth is at the Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory. A single unit, the Cray-1, can perform 50 million operations per second. Upon command, Los Alamos computers can display computed data in the form of color motion pictures. Many of these computer graphics have a strange mechanical beauty. The logic of mathematics clothed in the aesthetics of form and light. Los Alamos astrophysicists have used computers to study distant galaxies. This is a computer plot of light intensity coming from a galaxy known to astronomers as M51. Solar engineers used this computer plot to help design the National Security and Resources Study Center. We are looking at a mathematical model of the center as though we were on the sun during its trip across the winter sky. This is a calculation of air movement within a tornado. This is a plot of air movement along the body of a trailer truck.
Scientists use this computer graphic to study nuclear reactor accidents before they happen, so that they won't happen. And they study this graphic to see what happens to the nucleus of an atom when it is hit by another nucleus. This plot was made by Los Alamos mathematicians to help the Air Force study pollution from aircraft. And this is a plot of light scattered by particulate matter in the air. The environment has always been a matter of deep concern to Los Alamos scientists. Perhaps this reverence for nature has been sparked by the beauty of the land that surrounds the laboratory. Deep green pine forests, high alpine meadows, aspens, gold in the fall sunlight. And nearby, the archaeological remains of ancient habitation, cliff dwellings and Pueblo ruins. The air of northern New Mexico has been likened to champagne sparkling in the sun. Healthy climate and a stimulating scientific atmosphere at the laboratory have drawn some of the best analytic minds from around the world. Here at the Los Alamos Meson Physics Facility, subatomic particles travel the length of the half-mile accelerator to be hurled at various targets. Some of these particles, pi mesons, are being used against inoperable cancers. Not far away, at the Los Alamos Health Research Complex, scientists explore the intricate growth cycle of human cells to test new cancer-fighting drugs. Lasers sort cells rapidly for disease detection, a system developed at Los Alamos, now used throughout the world. On Indian land in northern New Mexico, tests have shown that cancer eye in cattle can be successfully treated using Los Alamos designed equipment. Millions of dollars each year will be saved. Experiments are underway to use similar techniques against cancer in other animals and in humans. The same scientists who developed the treatment for cancer eye in cattle are working on a treatment to correct certain types of defective eyesight in humans. Preliminary results are highly encouraging. Transponders, which can be implanted beneath the skin of large animals, may well take the place of branding, thanks to Los Alamos scientists. These same devices, which respond to a radar-like beam by sending out a number, may someday be used instead of license plates on motor vehicles, and even on railroad cars. Biochemical research at Los Alamos has led to a quick and easy method of detecting disease in animals. It is known as the enzyme-labeled antibody method, or simply ELA. The U.S. Department of Agriculture now uses ELA as an important part of its disease control program in cattle. In many laboratories in America, scientists are working to splice the intricate molecules of genetic material called DNA. This work may someday provide unlimited insulin supplies for diabetics, and perhaps even a cure for such diseases as sickle cell anemia. To recombine the gene segments, a special enzyme is needed. Until recently, there was just one man in the United States able to supply that enzyme. He works in the Health Research Laboratory at Los Alamos. Two-thirds of the world's population is protein deficient, while populations continue to grow. One teaspoonful of this tasteless powder protein is the equivalent of a pound of hamburger. It is a force-grown algae product developed by a Los Alamos biochemist. The technological advances that have come from the Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory are vast in number and of world importance. And the list grows longer each day. are passed on to industry so that they may reach the people in the form of new products or techniques. The heat pipe, 
a concept used in cooking, in spacecraft, and in the Arctic to stabilize soil. The first nuclear-powered rocket engine. The hardest known substance. A mathematical computer technique, now a world standard. And on and on. Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory was the birthplace of the nuclear age. And it has maintained its role in the design of nuclear weapon systems. As part of its continuing defense responsibility, Los Alamos is providing the nuclear warhead design to be used in the Minuteman, Titan, and cruise missiles. But Los Alamos has also kept pace with the peaceful needs of the nation and of the world. The future presents a bewildering array of technological problems to be solved, with energy the elusive key. from low-grade fuel. Energy from nuclear fission. Clean energy from the sun. From the earth. From the fusion reaction of the stars. Energy from the nucleus of the atom and from the laboratory where it all began. A city on a hill whose light has shone brightly in the scientific world for more than three decades. A laboratory endeavoring through its research to benefit all mankind.